this is real life. White whale workout. Ooh. 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 Joe in real life. Okay. So as soon as I opened my eyes this morning, I knew today was a white whale day. And that's going to require some explaining. But yeah, I opened my eyes. It was pretty early. And my first thought was, you got to do your white whale training. So you should roll back over and go to sleep for another hour. And I did. Um, first, I should say, I think everyone should have a white whale workout. And what I mean by that is like a fantasy, you know, a thing you can't do. A thing that you, in all likelihood, will never be able to do. And periodically, kind of when the mood strikes you sort of thing, you set out and you try to do it. Now, what I'm going to do today isn't my white whale workout. It's white whale training. Um, so that's complicated, but hold on. Well, okay. Another aspect of the white whale that I think is very important is it has to be a secret, a secret, a secret. It has to be a secret between like you and the whale, you know, and just like Ahab on the, uh, what was it? The Pequid? I can't remember. Um, it's internal. It's a resentment you carry with you, kind of man versus nature or man versus himself kind of struggle. Human man, not, you know, man proper. So anyway, in keeping with that, like, well, I need to graduate to my white whale workout, you know? Like, I'm not even remotely fit enough to get there and one of the benchmarks I have is I take my old 70 pound kettlebell and I try to swing that thing to shoulder or eyeball height 500 times in one hour this is a thing I cannot do like the last time I made an honest effort at it I think I hit 390 and man maybe I had a few more reps in me in that hour but not much. I mean, it was pretty close to my outer limit. I, I cried about it. I threw up. Like, you know, I was I was in the doldrums. I was in the deep. Um, I'm doing my 100 burpees before I do my white whale workout. And I'm doing them for every 30 seconds on the 30 seconds. Really, I... My plan here was to pre-fatigue. When I started my kettlebell ladder, I was going to be already, I would have blown out my first lung and be like, you know, really, really warm and really ready to work. Kind of to the point where I'm already over the hump of my best work, you know. That's an emotional barometer. The body can do a lot better than that. So basically, I was going to build a kettlebell ladder today. Well, I'm not going to strive to do as many reps as possible in an hour. Um, I have to work tonight, and that's just, that's not a reasonable way to start my day when I have anything else to do that's important. The burpee war itself is a ladder. It's just done by days. So like on day one, we do one burpee, day two, two, day three, three. You're taking the same basic concept, but you're doing it every minute on the minute. So on minute one, I'll do one kettlebell swing. Two, two, three, three, four, four. And I'll keep going basically until I break. Kind of in the infancy of the burpee war, this is actually how we did the burpee war. It went on as long as it had to until there was one person left standing. Um... We revised the war after the first couple years of that. People were getting pretty badly hurt. But every minute on the minute is a relatively safe way to accumulate those reps. You're going to gas out. You're going to pop um, long before you get to a point where you actually hurt yourself. And you'll see that in my kettlebell swings. I made it to 15 rounds. 
I cheated a little bit. I went over the time limit by like four seconds, but I'm counting it anyway. Um, yeah, man, like, like you'll see those, those, that last minute or two, those reps look like shit. I mean, I am just gassed. I can't, I can't breathe. So we're just going to finish this out here. And I filmed my kettlebell biz in time lapse. So we'll see how that goes, man. I hope it works. I don't know how I'm going to voice over, but I'll figure it out. Okay, here we go. My kettlebell swing ladder. Every minute on the minute, I'm setting everything up. I'm such a fucking turd. I gotta have it just right. And look how fucking arrogant I am. Dancing around, doing my stretches. Checking my beard. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> what a smug prick. What a smug prick I am. Look at that little dance. Jesus Christ. I've done this sort of workouts hundreds of times. And every time I'm shocked by how bad it gets. By how like unrecoverable the situation is. You know. And there's always a crisis moment. I think it was minute 11 for me this time. Where I was like oh shit. I wrote a check I can't cash. And that moment. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but that moment is beautiful. That moment where you're like, you transition from, oh, I'm working out, I'm having fun, I'm in my dungeon, listening to my music, to, I fucked myself. I am fucked. And there is no one to blame but me. And I could stop at any time. I could stop at any time and delete this video and no one would have to know. But I'd know. And it would keep me up. It would bother me. Well, it would bother me until I picked that bell up again and got my revenge. And even then, that shame would not subside. I think that was round eight. I did the, I did the eight fingers up. So I'm just about to enter deep shit territory. You'll see it in me in a second here. Yeah, I'm trying to get some little stretches. You can see my stomach moving when I breathe. I'm getting in trouble. The fatigue setting in. I can't recover with the time remaining. Each time I do the reps, it takes longer. That was round 10. I believe they start falling apart right here. Yeah, those still looked pretty good. Man, I'm chalking up like that's going to fucking help you doofus. Uh-huh. There they go. Yeah. Yeah, those are ugly. Yeah. And from here on out, it's just trash flavored trash, man. It's just me paying for my sins, you know? You ask those crisis questions like, like, what choices did I make in my life that led me to this moment right now? <laughs> you know? So we just got a little bit left. I'll uh, leave you with my suffering here. Um, burpee war, guys. Get after him today. This is Joe in real life. Uh, I love you guys. Be good to each other. I think you, I think this is it. I think you just watch me, yeah, try to eke out. Yeah, look, I can't even get the full, I can't get an unbroken set. Yeah, and I go over a little bit. Yeah. <laughs>